Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Energies for your person, the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Between you and your person, we have the Justice. Meeting energies, the Magician, the Moon and the Wheel of Fortune, the Oracle cards, not for you and the Yin. Guys, this can be a no-contact situation for some of you. Your person can reach out after a meaningful amount of time has gone by quietly between the two of you. And this can be a former spouse for some of you or someone that was not available to go down the high level of commitment road in the past, but now they can try to reach out in order to let you guys know that if you are available, if you are open in energy, they have the Ace of Pentacles available for you because they want to be, let's say, a King of Pentacles, so a stable figure in your life for the years to come. I want to say that you loved this person in the past, but you found your fulfillment when you left them after the justice moment, if we think about a divorce or let's say a breakup, a right and fair decision when it comes to, let's say, a challenging situation. Now, you will not shy away from the conversation that your person can try to manifest because they will reach out with a clear plan, magician, in their mind but there is something that doesn't feel right because of the moon. And you can even be surprised by the return of this person. The Wheel of Fortune can be about unfinished business, guys, but maybe not really. Not for you, Oracle card. Some of you maybe already think that this person is not the fair companion for you for this life journey. They had an opportunity. They didn't make it count. So it can be difficult for them to reconcile with you. Let's pull more cards. Let's see what we can get. Ten of Pentacles for the Ten of Cups. King of Cups for the Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles for the King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords for the Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups for the Magician, Two of Swords for the Moon, and the Moon for the Wheel of Fortune. So, some of you are not going to see the return of this person coming. It's going to be a surprise. This person had commitment issues in the past, Seven of Swords together with the Ace of Pentacles. Now they can say that they want to work for a real partnership with you. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles can still be a goal for you, but you can make clear in an Ace of Swords fashion that the decision that you made in the past to end the connection with this person was the right one for you. And now feelings, emotions, and love can be kept under the surface of the water from your perspective, because maybe you have indeed run out of love for this person. You have moved on. This person then can say, but I still love you. Knight of Cups, and so this is my new offer. You can be like the figure, like the lady in the Two of Swords, closed off, ex posture, kind of blocking a situation that you may not entirely trust. We have double moon and the moon in the background in the Two of Swords as well. The moon is an energy about the unknown, something that is not quite clear. 
something that can be different from how it seems to be. It can be a facade, an illusion. And this person can work with that. They can try at least. But I love the Ace of Swords because the energy can cut through the veil of illusion that we can associate to the moon. Guys, this person wants to turn back time. I do not think that they are going to be successful. This is what I want to say. But you will have the last word about this interaction. What should you focus on? Queen of Wands, a matter of a healthy self-confidence for you. You know your worth. You know what you want. You can remember the history between you and this person. And if you were married, the justice came maybe because of not only commitment issues for some of you, but also because of a lack of honesty that your person manifested if we follow the Seven of Swords. The moon, again, guys, the situation cannot be trusted. Five of Cups, it was a missed chance, a missed opportunity. We have the Four of Wands at the two sides of the bridge. So either you were married or you were hoping for that type of opportunity and the situation didn't work. Four of Cups. You can receive what we can consider as a divine offer because the Ace of Pentacles is a big energy. But because of the past, you can be like the figure under the tree in the Four of Cups, so not interested in the opportunity to reconcile with this person because you have already seen what they can do or cannot do in a romantic connection with you. And this is basically all that you need in order to make up your mind about this interaction. I think that it's going to be a brief one, a quick one, guys. When this person reaches out, the two of you can say something and then it's going to be over. What's the obstacle? Nine of Wands, the disappointments of the past can be an obstacle. You can be the wounded warrior. Even if you do not want to talk with this person because of what happened in the past, you are not going to shy away from the conversation, but you will take it as an opportunity to point out why there is no chance to get back together. Start energy in the obstacles, guys. No more wish, for you at least. This person instead can say that they have been not only thinking about you, but also dreaming about you. They want to reconnect. They want to bring some magic back in the connection, but you may not feel the same. High Priestess, cold as ice. I feel that this is about you. Knight of Wands. Tricky energy, guys. Someone that was not consistent enough in the past. And also someone that now, if we take into consideration the experiences, may not be deserving of your trust anymore. Page of Cups. This can be a lovely token. And I am sorry that you can absolutely receive. We also got the Knight. So a higher level, but I think that I am sorry is not going to help your person to successfully reconnect with you. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. Some of you may think that the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles which can still be a goal that you want to pursue, uh, may not be found with this person anymore.
Here we go. Page of Pentacles, due diligence. I think that you have already done your homework about this connection now. It's gonna be only a matter of uttering the words that can allow you guys to wrap things up after this person reaches out with an apology and a new offer. Two of Swords, we have seen the energy. You can truly be closed off. You can block the return of this person for reasons that can be absolutely understandable. King of Swords and the Seven of Wands. The King of Swords is interesting, guys, because if we look at the Ace of Swords, you can receive news from this person. You can respond, you can offer your opinion, and then the sword can be pointed downwards because the conversation can be kinda over sooner rather than later, and then we cut communication once again. I do not want to hear from you anymore. Seven of Wands. Guys, the Oracle card not for you seems to be meaningful, kinda on point. The Yin Oracle card can be the Ace of Cups, a gift from the heart. The one that maybe you granted in favor of this person in the past, they didn't honor it. Now, some time has gone by, Wheel of Fortune, unfinished business, well, maybe, or maybe not. I think that you are way over this person and they will have to accept that because it seems that some of you are going to point that out in an Ace of Swords conversation. And then, basically, from cold as ice, High Priestess, to a brief exchange, super sharp, and then cold as ice again with a major resistance, the Seven of Wands, you shall not pass. So this person is not going to be welcomed back in your life. This is the point. They will have to accept that. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.